Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog, and I'm in Park City, Utah, where I wrote on my blog on Wednesday, talking about the available land and how that affects the existing inventory of homes. Now if you look over here, you can see in the distance there, that's the ski jump where they have the 2002 Salt Lake Winter Olympics. I'm sure some Swede or Nord of some type jumped about 9 million feet on there. And what I was talking about on my blog was an area called Redstone. Now you can see here there are hundreds and hundreds of homes that have been built here. And this was all a vacant field the last time I was here. When I was growing up in the 80s, I mean none of this was here. So the point I was making on my blog on Wednesday was that with all of these homes here and you see a jogger with his shirt off, that's nice, and a lady walking a couple dogs, this entire area here is completely built up. You've got family homes, you've probably got summer homes, and the price of this real estate was skyrocketing for the longest time. But the issue I have is this, right next door. There is thousands and thousands of acres, literally right next door. You could draw a line here, okay? Just going right up the gut here, just draw a line. And on this side, you have hundreds and hundreds of homes. And on this side, you've got nothing but vacant field. So the question that I was asking is, how is it possible that a real estate speculator can go and purchase a home in here and really truly think that sky is the limit when there's all this land to be built on? And this is the difference that I was saying between you know an area like Park City, Utah and an area like Toronto is that if this is let's say uh, Leaside, you don't go right outside of Leaside and see thousands and thousands of acres. Or if this is Forest Hill or Leslieville or any area really of Toronto real estate, there is no vacant land. But here there are just thousands and thousands of acres to build on. So yes, when the real estate is booming, you can look at houses like this and you can watch as your neighbor's house sells and the investor next door, their house sells. But really all that is, is just, you know, panic buying and extreme speculation. It's the opposite of what's going on in the stock market right now, where you have panic selling and the Dow is dropping 500 points a day. Here, it's panic buying. You say, geez, I gotta get in because if I wait another month, I'm gonna lose $10,000. Well, guess what? When the buying stops and the speculation goes elsewhere, all that's left is vacant land and somebody's gonna build thousands of thousands of houses here. Hopefully you won't be left holding a half dozen houses here.